Hello everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Apache Tomcat server and use this uh, server uh, to run uh, Java, app Java applications. Uh, so uh, the tutorial will be divided in four parts. First one is downloading and installing Apache Tomcat server. Uh, second is uh, running a sample uh, war file uh, this is sample java application uh, and run uh, tomcat comments on this application uh, the, the comments are start stop reload deploy and deploy uh, and uh, in first case uh, we will use for running these comments uh, tomcat manager interface uh, manager graphical user interface uh, and uh, so th third uh, objective will be downloading and installing Sigwin uh, with the C URL command and for uh, run Tomcat comments using Sigwin command prompt. So let's start with the first objective, it's downloading and installing Apache Tomcat. So to download Apache Tomcat we simply go to Google Tomcat download so there is Tomcat official website so we will use Tomcat 8 so here here are the links for downloading so we have several options for downloading the server first one is the zip file and this zip file uh, will give us uh, outstanding application for server and we can also use uh, Windows service installer which will run as a, a normal uh, Windows process. So in this case, in this tutorial, we will use this Windows Service Installer. We will download it. So when it's downloaded, we run this. So here we have option to input the username and password. This will be useful for our uh, second uh, objective uh, and this password uh, uh, I mean login and password later uh, login username and password later will be used to enter Tomcat manager interface so we will remember this <coughs> So in this step, the installation is asking for Java runtime environment. So if uh, you have already installed uh, JRE, then you should provide the path. Or if you haven't downloaded it, you have to go and download JRE. So it's here. You will download it. And after that, continue installation. So installation is finished and now we run Apache server. Okay, now we have already installed Tomcat server. Now we can test it on localhost and the 8080 port. This port 8080 is the default port for Apache Tomcat. Uh, so there, there are... okay, and the manager. It asks for password. We enter the password uh, the, which we set while installing to Tomcat. So it's Nika and I won't say password. So this is the manager graphical, graphical user interface for Tomcat. So as we can see there are some kind of uh, services we can use to manage the Tomcat. Tomcat. So there is important files for handling Tomcat server is located in program files config. So as we can see if we open Tomcat user files so here is the user we added while installing Tomcat username, password and these are roles for 
this user. So the fact that the role is admin graphical user interface means that uh, we can, if if this was deleted, we we are not able to enter this uh, this manager interface. So this should be written here. Also, uh, there is there's a web apps folder. This web apps folder is uh, for uh, war files. So now we can move to second uh, objective. This is uh, run sample war file. So and uh, run comments using Tomcat Manager interface. So at first we of course we have to uh, download this sample sample war file. So here is the file. We can download it. Sample. So uh, if we if we put this war file this war file in this folder, it will man uh, automatically deploy it, and uh, we'll be able to see this uh, application here. But we won't do this. Or we will. Okay, mm, just try this. We can try this. We will put this file. And as now we can see there is sample application. Let's open a new window. So here, here is the Java application, and we run it on local host, local Apache Tomcat server. Uh, okay, we could uh, upload the WAR file uh, from here as well. We would just choose the WAR file, but it's not here anymore. Yeah, we could just choose war file, and it would do the same as we as it did when we put the file here manually. As we can see here for this application, we have some kind of comments: stop, reload, and deploy. Uh, we can, for example, stop the file application, and if we refresh it, we get 404 error. If we start, it works again. But uh, we can uh, do these comments, execute these comments, stop, reload, and deploy, and start using uh, the uh, browser comments, HTTP comments. Uh, so, uh, so here is the general syntax for HTTP request for uh, Tomcat comments. So here we have username, password, host, port, manager, text, stop, question mark path, and uh, we provide path for the application. So just uh, let's try this uh, uh, this, uh, co this comment. In our case, so username Nika, password Nika, uh, localhost 8080 stop path and sample and uh, just one note in order to the to be able to run this command uh, as a HTTP request uh, in browser we will have to change make some changes in Tomcat configuration Tomcat users file we should uh, add the role to the user, this is called manager script. Manager script. We save this file. We save this file, and now we have to restart Apache Tomcat. And to do this, we go to bin, shut down, and then start start up. Now just let's try the 
Mm, oops, we get error again. Actually, this because we did not uh, restart Apache Tomcat normally. Mm, so we should go to services, find Tomcat 8. Yeah. Stop service. So we stop the service. It's done. Yeah. Mm, and uh, we start it again. So it now appears we started. And now we can run Tomcat commands and uh, try to. So ju just at first see if it's running. Yeah. Our application is running. Just try to stop it. So syntax is stop. And it says oh, stops application at context path sample. Now let's try. Yeah, we get error, not found error. And also, if we see here, and we see that, uh, yeah, it stopped and it now shows start button. We can start it from here as well. So, command is start. And again, application started. So just check. Yeah, it works. Check it here. It also works. Uh, we have also, I think, reload. Reloaded application. Um, reload it and uh, undeploy. And deploy means uh, delay to the application at all. So now, if we see here, it should be deleted from here. Yeah, it's undeployed. In the next tutorial, we will see how to uh, how to use Seguin uh, to run these commands. Run the, these commands. Uh, from Seguin command prompt. Thanks for watching.